Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. I believe we're at episode number 59 right now. And we're going to start today off by just finishing up the rest of the last couple of like Team of the Year SBCs that I got after the weekend's recording. Um, the last day or so, uh, where we get like a rare Electrum Players Pack for the first one, uh, which is actually quite a nice pack. And I don't think it really costs too much. Really, stuff from the club is all it really costs. Um, we do get a very bright light shining down the side, uh, and that is going to be France centre back Barca. Um, TT. Okay, so it's not the greatest, but it is at least boards, and we do get someone that I don't know normally ends up selling for a little bit when marquee matchups comes around and Barca are included and stuff. And all in all, I quite like a pack like this where uh, we get some silver players that are no doubt going to be worth something in the future. Um, so you see, my coin balance has gone up. Somehow I've lost the recording, but I said I was probably going to sell Van Basten. I did sell Van Basten. His price did rebound a little bit, um, and I was able to sell him obviously for a loss after tax. Uh, but it was basically so I could go and buy Hyung Min Son. I know he's going to be on six or seven chem up front but it's it's son you know you just know how good he is right um and if we we're able to save a few hundred thousand coins by bringing him in who i think will fit my play style better than van basten i love van basten i mean the last episode i called him van beesten right so uh, i do think he's a very very good player um however I just think that Sun is probably more overpowered and seems to cost less. So why not? You know, it'd be silly for me to, to keep the icon in the, in the team for now. Um, maybe with the coins that we've got here, we're going to end up being about up about 400,000 coins. We're going to have about 400,000 coins at our disposal. Um, even more than that with the team that we've got now. So if there's someone sick that comes out in packs or something, maybe we'll be able to pick him up and upgrade the team that way. Um, and as you can see, we're just picking up. I think these are my... Are these my squad battles rewards? I'm not too sure. It might just be Team of the Year nominee SBCs. Uh, I can't remember exactly where we're at. I think it might be squad battles. Um, because... Unfortunately, being away at the Footwiz office all weekend and prepping my videos before all of that meant that the one thing that I dropped was squ uh, squad battles. I played the first couple of days last week, uh, or the first day or so. Yeah, that was about it. And I ended up getting like gold three after playing probably five or six games, maybe a couple more than that, which is fine. Uh, and that gave me like an extra 10,000 coins or 11,000 coins. Also gave me uh, two 15k packs, which is not bad for literally just playing hardly any games at all uh, so the next thing on my list was to go out and get the loans of the icons and also going to be second player of the month harry kane uh, i know i've not really utilized loans a huge amount so far in this series but i think there's going to come a time where i'm able to just build a full icon side and that'll be pretty sweet uh, so yeah I, i'm definitely i don't what i don't want to happen is for me to like go ahead build a new team get something all set up and then like oh i wish i just had mateus like, I know I won't keep my team for much longer than 20 games, so I wish I maybe just even had the lone Mateus. And, oh, look, I've got him. I can stick him in the team. So, when we're flush for coins right now, and, like, I've got a starting 11, which is all fine, and I actually don't really need any extra coins at this point in time, happy to stick them into the loans uh, and... I think it costs about 20k for Ronaldinho and for Mateus, and then 10k for uh, Yashin, 10k for Van Basten, and 10k for Harry Kane, or something like that anyway. So, yeah, you know what? You, you spend like 70,000 coins all told, but I've got a whole lot of games or a whole lot of great players if I ever want to use them. I'd hate to just not have them uh, because that has come around a few times where I'm like, okay, um, I think when I missed out on Peter Schmeichel and I had a squad where I had Eric Bailly and Manalas in defense and the only way to make that team work was to put like Carnesis in goal. It was kind of annoying, but whereas I only kept that team for a little while, would have been nice to have a Peter Schmeichel to stick in goal. That's why I've got, like, Yashin and all sorts of stuff. Um, so we're pretty sorted with loans again. They'll just sit in the background. Uh, maybe I'll make a Ronaldinho team in a few episodes' time or something like that. Uh, we'll get there. Don't you worry. Uh, I'll make sure I make use of a lot of the icons uh, throughout this series. Um, so this was... I pretty sure the final Team of the Year nominee SBC um, that was out. Uh, earlier on in the week so I obviously made sure I, I i completed that 
you know, because why not? And we get very bright lights once again. This time it's going to be an inform. Uh, it's going to be a Austrian inform. So we know that that's not going to be particularly great. You know, it's Hin Hintergerer. I, 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 I didn't see his full name. What is it? How do you say that? I have no idea how you say that. There's too many E's and stuff in there. Um, but I also got like a shadow chem. Sold some of the stuff that was in the club that I definitely won't be using for the time being. Including a couple of informs. I could have gone in and done another one of those um, tradable SBCs, but after the last time, I'm just cashing out. You know, it, it didn't it didn't go too well for us. Um, so it's time to test Sun out, and I thought, okay, I'll go on into a daily knockout tournament run, see how far we get, and we'll test out this young man's son. And it took him three minutes. Three minutes to get his debut goal. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it was right then that I was like, yeah, you know what? This is just the player for me. I always get on so very well with Son. Uh, and it does mean that, I mean, when we had Van Basten, we had Martial and Van Basten up front, who both right-footed, both four-star weak foot. But there's not one predominantly that you would play left striker over right. Uh, so now I, I definitely know that because Mares goes cam and, and kind of acts like a mini Messi for me. Uh, and I love him. He does a fantastic job. Um, and then we've got Son as a left striker now because he's got the five-star weak foot. He can either hit it on his left or his right. Uh, and it's those heel clicks there. Uh, and then either you cut inside and then just finesse it round with the right foot. Or you hit a low-driven left-footed shot across the goalie. And that's what he is there to do for me. Uh, and he gets a hat-trick in like 30-odd minutes on his debut. So, yeah, I really did know at that point that that was the right decision. Um... To, to get rid of the icon. Who knows? Maybe there's another icon. I, I would actually quite like to bring Laurent Blanc, the centre midfielder version, into the team. Maybe in place of back, in, in, in place of Bakayoko or something. Now, if that was the case, uh, I'm not I'm not sure I could get him for 400k odd. I wonder how much he is. If you know how much uh, central midfielder version of Laurent Blanc is, or someone that you think I could play as a CDM or a CM, um, that's an icon that we could just about afford, let me know, because uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, and that could be another way that we bring someone, someone else pretty cool into the squad. So we get a rage quit in the first game, and I think there was a kind of a nice Pogba goal in there, I think. Uh, if not, I've spoiled something for later on. Uh, but then we go into the second round, and this was a really even first half, and you'll see the stats at half time. But I go 1 0 down, uh, and then Lacazette shoots that, and I go 2 0 down after 30 minutes. I'm wondering why. And then, like, Lacazette goes and scores another goal. And I go 3-0 down. And I, d I definitely did not deserve to be 3-0 down. Uh, and what's worse than that is Lucky bounces here, there, and everywhere. Look at the amount of chances and bounces it's getting for Wijnaldum. He scores a fourth. And I knew that with this game, my luck wasn't in. I have better stats than this guy in the first half. I don't know how I'm 4-0 down. But I'm like, I'm probably not coming back from 4-0. So I thought, you know what? Screw this. We're going to start this run again. And we'll go for a more successful run this time. Get matched up against Fizzy Skills and his 3-5-2 uh, squad or 3-4-1-2 squad. Uh, Premier League... Not the not the greatest, but a couple of meta players in there. So um, he could be all right. He could be a threat. It took us four minutes to score in this game. Mares being the one to, to get the goal. But a lot of great work from, from Hyung Min Son to, to get a bit of space uh, and then to drag it back inside and then play it through to an on-running Mares. Um, who does have a, a tasty left foot and he can stick that one into the back of the net more often than not when he's actually composed in front of goal. And then we score another one with Martial here, literally on the next attack. We like reverse kickoff goal him, which is good. Uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm recording this video a little bit earlier in the week because obviously I'm going to Barcelona this week. But um, there has been big patch notes come out that we're going to be uh, having a lot of changes on the game uh, to do with like kickoff glitch that uh, that seems to be apparent this year where apparently the ai and stuff are going to be a lot tighter and more difficult to 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 get past from kickoff which i think is a great thing that they're finally kick, uh, finishing and sorting out the kickoff glitch is a very good thing and also like the kit changes and the stadium changes and stuff to foot champions weekend league which just makes it a whole lot more fair and uh just generally should benefit everyone uh, once you get used to it so basically 
you choose a home and away kit for your ultimate team. Uh, make sure they're different colors and stuff and that you could you could happily play against one versus the other. Whichever kit you decide to play with in game, um, you will be matched up. Your opponent will have your away kit. And they won't see that on their screen, but that's what you'll see on your screen. So you can make it perfect. You can have uh, red versus white, like in this one right here, and it'll really stand out and be really different. And, and you won't have a problem you know, with kit clashes or anything. And then your opponent will pick, pick his home and away kit, and that's what they'll see in-game. So uh, it's a very, very good idea in my opinion. They're also changing it so that you always play at night time in the FEWC Stadium. So again, another good decision by EA. Like at night time, there are no shadows on the pitch really, apart from the shadows on the players from the floodlights. But it's never really huge shadows across the pitch, which can definitely cause problems uh, on a sunny day at certain stadiums. So to be playing every game at night in the same stadium uh, with the kits that you choose it should be a good experience for everyone, uh, and that that is definitely uh, the first initial stages of real change there um, for a lot of people in the weekend league. And also, you're not going to be able to see if you're home or away, uh, and you're not going to be able to see the kits that everyone's got and stuff until you get in game. So it's going to eliminate a lot of the cherry picking. I know a lot of people, especially if you're higher up on the leaderboards, um, it seems to take longer to get into games. Lots of people don't like to actually. Uh, play away games because they're scared only it's, it's become a thing like the pros will only play home games so that they can avoid each other i think quite a lot of the time um and you know that's a smart move from them but it's led to everyone doing that right and and obviously if people are stubborn and they don't want to and they really don't want to play an away game then it's just going to take you forever to find a match so now you won't know it should eliminate a lot of the the cherry picking and i think we'll probably see uh, the top 100 being a little bit not easier to get into, but maybe the the actual like number of wins will come down just because it's it's probably quite likely now that pro players are going to be matching up against pro players quite a lot more often, um, just because you can't see who you're playing up against no matter what now, unless there's some other way for them to, to cherry pick their way around it. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens to people's overall records. I, I do wonder whether or not we'll see less like 40 and O's just because somewhere along the way, you're going to get matched up against someone else who's a pro and someone's going to lose out of that, right? So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I like the changes uh, a lot, actually. I think that's they've, they've addressed a, a huge amount of what the public has been has been crying for for a while now. So um, props to EA for that. Really, I uh, really I think that's a good thing. So whilst I've been rambling on, we've made our way to the final, boys. The last game that we played, that semi-final, that guy was unbelievably like boring and possessiony. Like he just hold the ball the whole game. Uh, but eventually, I, I came away with a two-one win, and that I definitely felt good because oh, it is so boring to watch people just pass it around their back line and then up the pitch, and then when, once they can't spot that opening play all the way back, it's what I like to call footwears damning it, you know, because he's just a boring player. Um, <laughs> but this game, we're two 0 down in the final at half time. It isn't looking good, really, is it? Well, 52 minutes on the clock, we're able to score a goal with Youngman Son uh, doing what he does best, holding up, turning the defender the defender didn't know really which way he was going to go because he's got that five star weak foot uh, it, it literally leads to more evasiveness in game which is brilliant and then martial heel clicks pass plays it into hyung min son and then an easy little finish uh, just like eight minutes later uh, and 15 minutes into the second half we've actually brought this whole game back it's now two all in the final and i forced my opponent into some sort of um well, I force him into a pause, which means he's obviously trying to change his team somehow. I've probably rocked his confidence a little bit. Uh, and into this game we go into extra time because it was two all after the 90 minutes. Lozano, the super sub, plays it into Pogba, who runs through and scores the goal. And, and well, then he dabs because that's what Pogba does in, in, in his, for his celebration, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, we get kind of lucky. I mean, like a deflection... 
through the goalie's legs, but I'll take it. You know, that shot was most likely going in anyway, right? Uh, and then I do something stupid. I accidentally tackle from what I thought was the side, but it was from behind, and I get a straight red with Mares. So we're going to miss the next game with Mares. I'm going to have to figure something out there. Um, but it doesn't really matter because in the second half of extra time, Munier, another one of my subs, is able to get through uh, and, uh, and score another goal to give us a two-goal lead in this game. So in the 120th minute, when he goes down the other end and scores like that, it doesn't really matter. There's not enough time left on the clock for this guy to get back in it. And from 2-0 down, we've come to win the final. Uh, we have won the final. Uh, and, uh, well, we've won the daily knockout tournament, which is definitely the aim. I basically just wanted to to give this game a good old try, uh, test out Hyung Min Sun, see how he's feeling in the team. Do I need to sell him on uh, and try someone else, or am I really enjoying him? And I, I've got to say, I'm really enjoying him. Uh, so he is going to remain in the team probably for quite a while now. I've just got to beware. If he's if he's ever looking like he's getting another inform, then you guys have got to let me know, because I'll need to offload him and then maybe pick up the next version uh, along the way. So, Mares misses the next game due to a red card. I'm sure we can fill him in with somebody in the squad somewhere. It doesn't really matter, right? We'll be fine. Um... But that's going to be the end of the episode, boys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.